What's going on everybody? Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty, back for another real estate advice video. I've been getting this question on a daily basis from people all around the market, and people want to know, are prices going to drop because interest rates are rising and rising so dramatically? The answer is not really cut and dry, and it's going to depend market by market. So what I want to do in this video is talk about four things that are going on in the real estate market and explain how that might affect your property's value over the next couple of months. Stay tuned. First, let's start with the doom and gloom. Mortgages are getting more expensive. As interest rates rise, the monthly payment will rise. And if you only have a certain budget that you can work with, what you're going to see is the buyer pool is going to shallow as people are getting priced out. That is the biggest threat from a seller's perspective is this normal uh, nature of having 10 offers per listing that we've been living with for the last year is likely to shallow some. But on the bright side, if you're a buyer and you can still afford your mortgage and are still comfortable with the monthly payment, you're likely to experience a little bit less competition, so you may be more likely to win in a multiple offer situation. Second, rents are also going to go up as a result. It's no secret in our market that rentals are just as competitive as the sales market. Anytime you see a property go up for rent, you probably have several applications on it within a couple of days. What we've seen as a result is rents have been steadily increasing for the last couple of years. And as interest rates rise, that cost is going to continue to be passed through to the tenant. If it costs a landlord a $1,500 a month payment and that jumps up to $1,600, if they were expecting to clear $200 a month, that cost is gonna be passed through to the tenants. In addition, what you'll probably see is anybody who was a, or who would have been a buyer is probably going back into the rental market, increasing the pool of tenants and creating more competition in an already competitive market. Third, there's still a national shortage of homes. We've been talking about this for a really long time and fortunately we are starting to see inventory levels tick up just a little bit, but we have a long, long way to go before we reach a balanced market. At a fundamental level, this low supply is going to keep prices high or at a minimum stable as to what they are currently. Fourth, it doesn't look like we're headed for a housing crash. The current market conditions are a result of supply and demand. It's been the same case for the last two years and we haven't seen any bad lending practices sneak into the market. What we're experiencing right now is just basic economics and as you see interest rates rise, I expect you will probably see lending standards tighten even further because of the affordability component. They're gonna be a lot more scrutinizing of people's files to make sure that they can afford it because we learned our lesson. Nobody wants to see another foreclosure crisis. That's not good for anyone. So in conclusion, are the rapid rising interest rates going to drop home prices? Doesn't really look like it right now, but it will matter market by market. So stay in touch with your real estate professionals, stay in touch with what's going on in the market. If you ever have any questions about what's going on, always feel free to reach out to me and we'll talk about your specific circumstance in your specific neighborhood. If you're thinking about buying a home this year, always feel free to reach out. And if you're thinking about selling and making sure that you get top dollar, I would recommend reaching out as well. Thanks so much for watching my video. Brad Cohen, Harmon Realty, always here as your real estate professional.